What's good, YouTube family, man? This shit, God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live, man. Look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Smash that like button, but I need to talk about this immediately. This is about Team 600 and the downfall of what brought Team 600 down. You got a situation where guys is telling on each other allegedly guys and some guys are telling not allegedly you got guys instead of keeping things in-house guys want to gossip about what's going on with the guys guys want to bring and allude to certain things that make you look bad too folks guys don't want to check that bag and do certain exclusive deals guys want to look out for themselves team 600 got brought down for a whole lot of shit we can start with either e-day clout chasing I mean, I, you can call it cloud chasing or you can call it for the love of his brother. He want his brother to be free. So when he hear other rumors about Tay telling, the, the main thing he's going to do is explain to us Tay 600 is telling with no proof. Or it show, should I say he did use proof, but it came back making Tay uh, 600 looking weak because you said Tay 600 told. And we seen the real proof. Tay ain't never told nothing, bruh. So I had to fall back and come to the conclusion, bro. None of this reality is making sense, bro. Something ain't adding up, and I need to know what ain't adding up, Chief. What ain't adding up that connects the dot to let us see what the hell is going on, bro. I'm in tune with all this and reality what's going on, bro. Is that 600 got messed up because niggas in 600 wasn't looking at the bag. Facts. Even even Rondo and C Day and D Rose and all them when they got locked up, y'all wasn't looking at the bag. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Rest in peace to J Money. Rest in peace to all the guys involved in this. You got niggas like Lil Dirk making y'all look bad. If it, if it ain't King Crump talking about he was Dirk was in the car, he ran and left his man. I know Dirk and them is 300 and, and or just OTF. A lot of these things is hard to understand, but y'all just got Chicago politics is different, y'all. In fact, I'm not going to even get deep on the whole 300 part. Let's just stick to what we know about 600 that made us come to the conclusion they, they know more. I'm not going to speak about everything else we can speak except for the snitching thing. Y'all let one snitching situation destroy y'all bag. Y'all could have been damn near 800 million within the next 20 years. I can predict you Team 600 within the next 20 to 30 years could have made more than 800 million. I'm not even talking about what they would have made the record companies. I'm just talking about profits with that group. If y'all know what the Chicago movement was, then you know, my nigga. You know. You know these niggas was it, bro. They had everything. You could have marketed any nigga off their group and make them a million each, bro. Collectively, nah, nigga, individually each. But if collectively you were to keep your focus, like Pop Smoke said, stay fully focused, you niggas would have get that. But niggas want to get get back. Niggas want to cry about baby mamas fucking such and such. Yeah, we know Tay 600 fuck little Dirk baby mama. That ain't even no secret. And we know Dirk had anim animosity with Tay long before all this due process situation got kicked off with Tay being a rat and all that. But niggas can't hold it up and be honorable and just say you don't fuck with Tay 600. Just say Tay 600 smash your baby mama so you gonna stay out of the who snitch or not because you ain't gonna be a fair person. But nah, you wanna take this shit globally. And yes, the only nigga that got money out of that whole situation y'all got involved in the 600 was Dirk. Dirk get to be y'all boss. Dirk get to be the nigga to tell y'all who put y'all on. When we all know niggas like E-Day and everybody else was the main front faces of 600 facts niggas like tay 600 mama allowing all the guys to come through the crib and all that we know who the real troopers of 600 was had nothing to do with dirt but it's the fan ass niggas who throw dirt name in this and shit like that come on bruh shout out the old block but king von came home knowing a lot of fuck shit coming on but king von is coming to an empty predicament he needs to be on top because he got a name now because of alleged stepping situation so who he gonna be loyal to he gonna be loyal to the money man and the money man at the time was not 600 briefs was not e day ronald number nine wasn't even the bag no more because ronald number nine after L la capone died Ron ronald number nine was gonna be the bag everybody seen it everybody knew it ronald number nine was gonna be numero uno but then dirt fucked the whole shit up and, and oh yeah he did snitch putting that shit on music so of course niggas like king von gonna come home to you nigga and let's go deeper on this shit i ain't done yet folks let's go deep bro when we we look at Rondo number nine, bro. You got a co-defendant, bro. 
What is you doing talking to this lawyer behind the scenes? And even before, let's scratch that. Even before you talk to the lawyer, UNC, they did a whole interview of Zach TV. Rest in peace to Zach. About this nigga Rondo, I mean this nigga Tay 600 is a snitch. Tay is a rat. But y'all ain't never showed no real fucking paperwork. Oh, the lawyers say, do you know there's things the lawyers can do and signed off on that can help your your situation to prove that this nigga's a rat without having to bar get rid of his license or whatever? Nigga, y'all ain't come with it, bro. And if you're going to say this nigga a rat, what's with the Photoshop paperwork, bro? That shit was fake. As a bitch today with a fake ass ass, bro. That shit was fake. It was fake. You bringing fake paperwork to something a conglomerate such as 600, bro. 600 was the new wave. It was the dip set. It was the Rough Riders. It was all that, bro. Bigger. Bigger because Chicago was a new movement we ain't ever seen before. I know we had Twister, Kanye West, Do or Die. I know we had all these guys part of the shop, but let's just keep it real, bro. This movement when Chief Keith broke out, this is a movement you ain't ever seen before, bro. I'm from Florida. We got a whole movement going on right now in Florida. But no movement will ever be big than what Dipset was, G-Unit was, and what Team 600 was, bro. Team 600 was next, and I'm mad, bro. Shout out to Big Swirl, bro. Your brother's a rat. He's a whole Mickey Mouse nigga out here. 600 need to come out with some explanations, bro. But we don't need it no more, bro. A lot of us done got older. A lot of people done move off to the next, man. Bro, you can't get that bag back. 600 Breezy, the only way he became relevant again was dissing the legend, the Chicago legend, FBG Duck. And even that got his ass backlash. Even that, I mean, the song was all right. I ain't picking no sides. The song was cool. But the fact you brought this shit out during Duck is not what got us mad. It's the fact it ain't the same no more. No matter what y'all put out there, the feeling ain't the same no more. Bro, when people get to y'all music and y'all brand, who y'all is, it ain't just because you a good rapper. You got a good beat. Let's just keep it real, bro. It's the total package will make all these fans get invested into your brand, bro. It's the total package, my nigga. And y'all had everything. That package ain't there no more. Your lyrics is getting better. Your beats is getting better. Production is sounding A1, nigga. But is y'all still the same? Nah. Oh, bless one. You got to let these niggas grow up and improve. We did, nigga. We let them grow up to a whole clown show out here, bro. So many niggas in Chicago done passed their movement already. Ain't even the same no more, man. Shout out to the likes of Polo G's and them out there, bro. So many niggas passed y'all movement that the whole group thing in Chicago ain't really it no more, bro. And with FBG Duck dying, it's still gonna be FBG movement for the rest of our life. But it ain't the same no more, man. Let's quit lying, bro. Let's quit lying to ourselves, bro. Everybody need each other, bro. It ain't no Batman without the Joker. You can give me every other... Bad guy, there is part of the Batman legacy, but it ain't the same if he don't got his goddamn Joker, bro. Facts. Batman without Superman. Batman without Joker. Like, FBG Duck ain't here no more. You niggas' music ain't gonna be the same no more. I bet y'all never realized why people was looking at y'all and watching y'all. And it ain't for a good reason. It's for the violence, the picking size, the WWF type tag team not that y'all fake but you know what i mean like niggas like tag team like when we watch wrestling we got our favorite wrestler we got the favorite niggas we rooting for the favorite tag teams and you niggas was everything in one and y'all fucked the whole shit up it's no more bro bye bye you can say Mimo 600, 600 Breezy, or Breezy 600. Tay 600, you can say all that. If I'm Tay, I'm not having 600 in my name no more. So that let me know Tay ain't no fucking snitch. The fact that Tay 600 still go by Tay 600, that should have told all you fools that this nigga is loyal to a T. Nigga damn near about to shed a tear, bro. He said he had them PTSD nights, either through the shit he did in the streets allegedly, or through the shit he got to go through through his own guys, making him look like a lame duck nigga out here, bro. I know Dirk done talked to you niggas behind the scenes. Dirk done told you niggas about the bag and where he could get y'all. Y'all probably will get one day to the bag with Dirk, but I don't see it. I see only one nigga got the bag with Dirk, and that was King Von. He paying Mimo. Mimo is more talented than King Von. Mimo make better music a hundred times better than King Von. King Von got put on by Mimo's exposing me. Then King Von did the, the true story. Other than that, it's the same fucking story, folks. Ain't nobody trying to hear all that. All your songs sound the same, King Von. But you got a name out here. Based on what 600 did while you was incarcerated and what you did too, I'll be fair. Now, niggas just saying King Von this, King Von that. 
Don't look at these views. Don't fall into the Quando Rondo situation. Quando Rondo only sold 3,500 cells. So let King Von put an album out right now. He better not. He better keep selling these singles and shows and get his money that way. Sell his shit on Spotify and all that. Because you bring out an album, niggas ain't going to buy that shit. Niggas watch out for the drama to see who's going to get popped next. Who's in, in tune with each other. Who got what going on. What gossip. What rumors. That's all niggas give a fuck about. I'm here to tell you the truth. The niggas you need to start promoting more is Mimo 600. He catchy. He do a little dances. He got catchy hooks. He got lyrics when he wants to for y'all. He got songs that's going to blow. King Vaughn got corny ass. But 600 ain't the same. E -day, e -day, even e -day got good music out here. But he got up. What the fuck? Like, hey, that shit go hard, bro. So 600 ain't going to be the same no more. You can put all 600 breezes trying to bring the whole guys again. With that diss towards FBG, Doug, he had everybody and their mama in that video. And it still ain't give us that same feeling like we got back in 2011, 12, 13, 14. Hell, we can't even get a 2015, bro. It is what it is, man. I'm done with this, man. Look, I'm your God bless one. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay fucking blessed, man. This shit's a shame, bro. Many of you have problems finding clothes, but if you look in the description box for the information, you can find information for Top Notch clothing brand. Top Notch MME is a high-end streetwear brand for men and women with a top-notch sense of style. And look, guys, I, I wear it. I just bought my own clothing, and they're top-notch for real. Look, they're not just a top-notch brand. They're a way of life. Go get your own, very own top-notch brand clothing.